I have eyes only set for the prawn suit. We need to get to the prawn suit so we can get some air. Hey guys, and welcome back to Subnautica with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, <laughs> you might be wondering, why are we in the shallows? Um, I know I did say in the last episode, or at the end of the last episode, that we're going into the deep. Um, hopefully we can get that done today. But, uh, I was on here just... Oh, sorry, air bubbles cause that sound too. Okay. Anyways, uh, I did come on today ahead of time, and I was like, okay, well, we need to get some resources and stuff like that. Uh, there is a lot by where we are. It's just not as much salt and that's more or less what I was looking for I wanted salt and then uh, secondly was titanium uh, we are running right into the shallows let's uh, go this way so <laughs> I decided okay well we'll come up here get some salt uh, which there's giant nodes of it everywhere um, and then we'll get some titanium at oh I don't think we can okay we do have some room to surface not much though Ooh, it's getting tight. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> I was like, we'll get some titanium at the exact same time as we're getting some salt. Uh, and then as we're getting salt, I was like, hold on, uh, we need the salt for f uh, what is it to cure the f to cure our food and then uh, water purification uh, or to make the bleach. Sorry. And as I was, we were collecting, I was like, well, why do we need to double up on it if we can just you know find that water purification station I think it is um, we'll look at it in just a second but yeah so uh, let's see here e oops we gotta shut the engines off engine powering down that's right it is okay so uh, yeah water filtration uh, machine so it's like all right well why can't we uh, just use you know find that <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, we could just search around, looking for it. Sorry, I need the water. Search around for it. Probably take forever to actually find it in the game, so... Uh, I looked it up really quickly on YouTube. Um, or on Google, which then led me to YouTube. Anyways, <laughs> long story short, uh, we are going to go find it. I know where it is. It's in the shallows here, or roughly in the shallows. Uh, it's been a spot that... Many a times I've actually looked at as we're driving or as we're going past it, and I'm always like, "Yeah, we should get it, go down there with the sea moth," but we never do. So look at how nice this base is all set up, right? Do we still have water in here? Ah, oh, look at that. I'm gonna take some of this, <laughs> and then the batteries. I don't like how this the scanner doesn't tell you how much charge it has. Although, it does have a charge, right? So... Our, let's switch this out really quick. Oh. Come on. Will you stop it? There we go. Like that. Put that 6% there. Six. Oops. I was like, what? 69%? Uh, we better take it too, because just in case... So, but anyways, we're going to head down into the... Down where I kind of know... Uh, where this, or where I've been told that this mo uh, water purification is. There's not a guarantee that it's there. Um, it does seem like there's, you know, mostly random spawns in the game, so it's kind of hit or miss. Um, we did have a, quite a bit of problems finding other stuff, uh, like the prawn suit drill arm. It took a while to actually find that. Uh, but other than that, I think we're good to go. I want to grab some of this uh, first aid stuff. We did get, I did set up some stuff at the other base. Uh, I did set up a first aid station and stuff like that. But it's better to have uh, the first aid, like more of it than what we have, right? Uh, we've taken quite a bit of damage while we've gone down into the, that lava biome. So, all right, I'm gonna take the sea moth out. Um, when I get to the spot where I, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go down, I will bring you guys back just so you guys can see where it is. Um, it is in the shallows, like I said, so <laughs> it should only take a couple seconds to find it. All right, here it is. 
it was literally right around the corner from the base. Like you can see the base. We can still see the base from here. <laughs> so uh, I'm pretty sure there's a couple entrances into this place. Uh, we'll just have to be a little careful here. Uh, kind of a tight fit. Kind of interesting how we're like diving right to the alien thermal plant. Really weird, like the. Now I think we found this before, but we couldn't go to the depth that we wanted to. Now just out of curiosity. This seems a little too easy to go in here, right? Are they protecting this area? Yep. Whatever that thing is. So, we'll steer clear of that. Or them. And... We should be able to find... Okay, so they're making noises too. In this cave support the microcosm of the unique, possibly predatory, life forms. Try to anticipate unanticipated threats. Try to anticipate their threats? They're coming after me. Maybe we should have brought the prawn suit down. <laughs> okay, he's left us alone. Nice. That didn't take too long. I knew there was a base down here, but I just didn't know how... Now if we stop moving... Alright. If we get inside, you can't get us, right? <laughs> A drooping stinger. We'll look at that later. I'm sure that's going to hurt if we get hit by it. Um, Bart's log. Alright, we're going to have a couple extra PDAs here. Which is excellent. Oh, there we go. Water filtration machine. Nice. <laughs> one of... Uh, I think it's one of two fragments. This is going to help so much. Oh, so we found the whole thing. Oh, ah! Ooh, I can't see. <laughs> um, I think he wants, the, wants us, you guys. Uh, hopefully that's not out of the sea moth. Ouch. Can we go up here? Those guys are almost worse than... Uh, uh, the Leviathans. Okay, found another PDA. Oh, this is... Yeah, you definitely need the larger O2 tank for in here. Otherwise, you'd probably get, you know... Stuck in... I'm just going to turn this off so we can see what the PDAs are. I can see there's one on the other side there. Let's hopefully not get stung this time. There we go. Oh. One of my... The basic double bed. Always need to know where the double bed is, right? <laughs> oh, there's another PDA. Man, they're everywhere. Oh, there's a voice log. Good. I don't have to talk. Oh, there... Okay, we looked all over through here. That side. Oh, come on. Can't go out this hatch? Alright. Not the end of the world. Uh, is it still taking bites out of the, the sea moth there? Oh yeah, the Seamoth is uh, taking quite a bit, a few hits here. So, uh, obviously we should have brought the prawn suit down for a couple reasons. You guys can see that there is... Okay, hold on. You can see... 
can see that there's quite a few resources. Let's go. <laughs> quite a few resources down here, uh, which would be really fantastic for mining. It looks like it's probably copper for the most part. Uh, let's just take a look around while we're in here, moving uh, nice and fast. <laughs> to see if we can't see another like research facility down here. I'm sure that's probably the only one. But just in case... It's gonna have something to eat, too. <laughs> that's gonna be a little bit of a pain if we... Okay, so you can go down a little bit further. There's got there's probably a couple of ways in here. Um, but yeah, like if you, I'd almost assume there was another one in here uh, because of the water filtration machine it, there's uh one of uh, what was it it said there was two parts to it right uh we did get the whole blueprint in one shot but i kind of you kind of think that there might be a second one kicking around here but maybe I, i'm just completely wrong let's just get out and uh, scan these really quick i'm sure it's something we can scan oh it's not can i pick it up nope oh here we go Surprised we haven't actually gone down to this depth yet, or down here, anyways. Right. Indigenous life form. Let's go five. Where's the? Where's the sea moth? Oh, there it is. It was like directly above us. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get us up to the surface and then we'll take a look at these data logs uh, and what these uh, jelly mushrooms can actually, uh, actually, we can take a look at. They don't do anything at the moment for us, like as in nutrition or water. So I'll try and find our way back up and yeah, we'll take a look at the logs then. All right, so we're back at the base. It didn't take too long. Um, there's quite a few entrances or yeah, entrances and exit. Uh, I found, oh, I tried to pull up the map there. <laughs> there was one that was like 500 meters away from the base. Um, it was right beside a crash, so it wasn't too bad to actually get out of there. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are going to go down there, make sure you uh, you either bring the prawn suit or you have the sea moth. Uh, but obviously the guy was, or the, what do you want to say, those eels were attacking the sea moth. So with the prawn suit, at least you could probably kill one of them. It's like they're like baby leviathans almost. <laughs> but let's take a look at these... Uh, these data entries we got, so blueprints, habitat installation, okay, the water filtration system, uh, yeah, yeah. the alternate water filtration may liquid, uh, any liquid into pure refreshing a pH balanced water, yes sir, any liquid. Okay, uh, let's go to data downloads, how is there six of them? <laughs> Degassi survivors, wow, Bart's log uh, one, oh yeah, this is a story and a half. Um, oh, okay, we'll try and get through these, I don't know, I thought, <laughs> let's, uh, let's see, I guess, uh, I thought it might get catastrophic living underwater, uh, or claustrophobic, sorry, but it feels it's, it is, uh, he'd like to, actually, yeah, let's not, we'll just, I think this is just explains a little bit more of the, storyline unfortunately there's just a lot of reading here and you know something like this is really easy to narrate but th these are what these are the longer ones that just you know they suck up time so we'll go to uh Degassi, the voice log curious discovery paul what is that what is that thing uh marguerite i don't know i found it outside in, in the sand all <laughs> part of another ship none i've seen it uh, i've ever seen it's not even uh, scratched don't fool around with it it might be worth something stand Stand down, Chief. If it were going to crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. Uh, we're not the first people to come to this planet. People maybe could be aliens, could be 
Um, yeah, the monsters, for all we know, one thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out what? by staying here. Uh, by the way, we're the aliens. If we came from one planet and we came to this one, we're aliens. So, <laughs> anyways, uh, Paul, son, there's uh, always a pecking order in the world. Money makes the uh, hierarchy. I pay uh, Mada to uh, what? A fraction of what I pay you, and you pay uh, what? And you a fraction of what I pay me. I'm still at the top of the pack. If money makes the hierarchy, why is uh, Marguerite making the decisions? All the all that education. I'm still schooling you. We need we need her. We let her think that she likes what what she likes, as long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. <laughs> People always do. Okay. Deeper. Uh, we're already at 200 meters sea level. We want to go deeper. Look around, chief. I always see water leaking through the hall. Water outside the hatch. We're de uh, we're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, what uh, whatever shot whatever shot us down is going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see a, uh, an off switch around here, chief. Why would any why would it any more, more likely be half a kilometer down? Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Uh, your kid found your weird readings. There's something down here there that shouldn't be. You're mad. Uh, that may be, but I'm going all the same. And I've and I've an idea. You two are gonna follow, but if you do, be mindful. Your authority stopped at the sea level. Ooh, okay. And then obviously another long one. Geological data. Shale outcrops, gold and lithium. Okay, that was I found that one a long time ago. Coral. Uh, not sure if that mattered any. And then flora would have been the mushrooms. Drooping stinger. Prey on small fish. Avoid. And predators unknown. Consistent of a tough trunk like yeah, which grows fragile. Member structure suggests vulnerability to predation, but evidence therefore is lacking unknown defensive mechanism, possible symbiotic relationships. All right, well, anyways, <laughs> I found all that. Now, water purification, aerogel, copper wire, and titanium. Guess what? We have all of that at the other base. So we will go, or we're going to head back to the other base. And we got the basic double bed. <laughs> so uh, I think that's all we needed at the moment. I, I was thinking about making the MK3 for the Seamoth. But then we'd have to go to the base, come back, go all the way back, or drop off the prawn suit, then come all the way back, pick up the sea moth, and take it all the way there, right? And it's just, you know, not worth it to I. Uh, at the moment, we might in the future, uh, but right now it's just, it's not feasible. So I'm going to get us back to, the, uh, to our base, and we'll get this water filtration system in, and Hopefully down into the deeps a little bit. See what was making that noise. <laughs> so we're back at the base here. Um, <laughs> with this water purifier, purification station, uh, we actually had to do a modification to the base overall. So I ended up, uh, we're gonna have to make some more storage, but anyways, I ended up adding an extra multi-purpose room on top of the multi-purpose room we already have. So our base kind of looks like this now. I'm gonna add some windows to this and stuff like that, but uh, right now it's not the high priority. It's get this water purification installed and working, or figure out how it works, and then we are going to head on from there. So obviously these windows are a no-go for building anything on, so maybe we can put the water purification station right there, yeah. So we could have put it in with the, our alien containments too, but the problem is, is that it actually would stick into the alien containment. That actually minus negative. Hmm, okay. So, we gotta put something in here that's liquid? Any type of liquid, huh? Oops. We can't put the. I wonder what. Anything that's liquid. Right? It said anything that was. Sorry, you guys, I'm just. 100% here, it said any liquid, I think. Uh, you'd have to go to the PDA. Um, let's not go there. Oh, water filtration right here. 
draws water from human consumption from an external source, automatically fills or splits it into containment parts and outputs consumable water, liquid, water, and salts while depositing any harm. Oh, we're going to get salt from this too? Awesome. Powerful byproduct. It can be built in any habitat, but it has substantial power requirements. Any liquid into pure, refreshing pH balanced water. Yes, any liquid. I'm a little lost. Uh, trying to think of what we have that might actually be a liquid. Uh, I don't want to. Well, let's try some lubricant. And if not. Hmm. It's a liquid, right? <laughs> no. Nope. Uh, all right. Interesting, interesting. So. I think we might just go out and grab some of that. What is it? Uh, the creep vine? And see what happens with that. So let's uh, pick uh, this guy right here. And we ate him. Because I wasn't thinking. <laughs> Good thing we have plenty of them, hey? Uh, come here, come here. Come here. There we go. Now, I know it says any liquid, uh, but they these guys do have an uh, oat, uh, water content on them. Uh, which is minus 10. Okay, you can't. We can't put him in there. Hmm. Alright, so we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, but we do have it up and running. Uh, maybe I'll just run out really fast. I'm thinking, like, what could the possibilities be? I guess it could be these creep vines and stuff like that. Um, actually, I know it's a waste, but maybe we'll try a gel sack. Just in case. Let's go like this. I was gonna, yeah. Salt, locker. I don't have anything really there. Hold on. Oh, it's already, it's already going. Okay, well. <laughs> See how it says filtration progress is 21 out of uh, 22%, sorry. So I guess we're gonna have to put a salt and water cabinet up here. Um, probably bring the, the, the fabricator up here also and stuff like that. But I'm gonna get some uh, storage going and then uh, we will head down and maybe by then I'll have some of this water done. I'm not sure, we'll take a look at it. All right. So it, <laughs> This actually works pretty good. Uh, it's really slow, as you guys can see. It's not uh, super fast. We only got one bottle so far, uh, but one bottle produced uh, two salts. So it was like one bottle, two salts. So I guess it can hold up to like three bottles. Um, but as you guys can see, sorry, there is the bottle right here. And this large filter bottle water is better than what we have. Like these ones are 12 ounces or and we store th uh, 30 H, uh, H2O. This one restores 50 and it's 15 ounce pure. And what's this one? Microorganism free. So yeah, that's a lot better. Um, I wish we would have had this going a lot earlier because yeah, uh, like the salt that's gonna come from it or that does come from it is a lot more than what we can find, right? So now we don't, we no longer have to make trips to the surface for the salt. The originals will always be able to make. Uh, so food and water is now covered 100%. Or, yeah, I guess 100%, as long as uh, um, it keeps working, I guess. <laughs> I might even make a second water purification station. I was thinking and put it right there. Um, that way we have plenty of salt coming in and we have plenty of water coming in. The water is more important than the salt, although the salt is a great benefit to uh, everything, right? So we'll grab some food here, uh, which we have very little of. All right, I just leaped right into the tunnel. Um, we were just that good. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I guess we're, well, yeah, I don't know what we're coming down on top of. Uh, so that's the one thing we gotta worry about. But, there we go. Go like that. Bam, all right. 
So we have to watch out for the warpers because we know they're here. Um, and the warpers can pull us directly out of this suit. Um, I don't think if they can in the Cyclops, but they, they do teleport us out of here quite often. Alright. I like how you just have to kind of feather... Come on. Oh, grab. Alright. Let's just take a look. We'll recharge our jets. What is that? You guys saw that, right? I'm not crazy. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. No! Use the drill! I don't know if he, uh. Does he have our prawn suit? Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> oh no. <sighs> okay. So he took a bite. Didn't like what he, what he had? I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I thought for sure we lost the prawn suit there for a second. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to be here, but... What is that thing? I'm sure there's a lot of cool stuff that's here. Please don't tell me he has, like, some giant search area, either. There's some more warpers. Great. This is what we've always wanted. Oh, come on. Looks like he's just patrolling the door, but we gotta get moving forward faster. No, 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 no. Just run. <laughs> There's no sprint in the... Uh, the... No. Okay, we're bailing. Alright, it looks like we already found his weakness, kind of. Uh, I don't want to open the storage, I want to get in the prawn suit. I don't want to lose the prawn suit, so... Actually, we should uh, repair it, since it's... Like, he was literally looking right at us. But it looks like he's just like the Leviathans, as long as you don't move. Or maybe it's because I left the prawn suit. Leave you alone. Nope. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, uh, that's horrible. I don't. To be honest, we'll try. We'll tr oh, okay. That one its issue. We'll see if we can get there with the uh, with the sea glide in time. I'm not a hundred percent sure. <laughs> I have eyes only set for the prawn suit. We need to get to the prawn suit so we can get some air. You jerk. <laughs> Apparently he one-shotted us again. <laughs> All right. So, clearly we need to... Uh... There's a couple of things we need to, I guess, prepare for. I'm not making another prawn suit, so we are... If it takes me a million times dying to get this prawn suit back, that's how many times it's gonna it's gonna happen, <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah, I'll take the Cyclops closer to the to the tunnel there, um, just so I'm not I guess fast traveling back and forth. Like if I die ten more times, uh, I don't have to worry too much about uh, swimming a million. <laughs> or a thousand meters to it. 
All right, I got the prawn suit back. <laughs> but it definitely seems to be hanging around um, at certain places. We are, like, where we entered from, uh, this guy is kind of ways away from actually the spot of where we entered from. So as you guys can see, the Cyclops is 1,300 meters away from us. Now, I don't know if we're supposed to go deeper or what. Maybe. Uh, you know what? Actually, let's just see what's around this corner here. Uh, I feel that we're safe under whatever this is. I'm not 100% sure what this is, though. I don't know if we can drill it or not. No, it doesn't look like it. Kind of scared me a little bit there. I was like, is he there? Because he's been one-shotting us. Um, as for actually learning how to walk faster with the Cyclops. It's right there, man. Like, if he could stop just, like, circling, that'd be great. Yeah, use the grappling hook to actually walk faster. So I'm kind of like this. Just to get us out of there. <laughs> okay, did he move? I don't see him. Okay. Now I see him. <laughs> oh, the alien thermal plant. I can see it. It's 304 meters that way. Oh, come on. Let us get it. Okay, I think if I stop, you know, worrying too much about him, we might be able to actually make it. Let's just let's just go for it. We'll beeline it for it. Worst case scenario is we jump out of the prawn suit, we die, and the prawn suit stays in here. Hundred twenty five meters. One thirty eight. We're going high. I think the he's having a problem following us. Which is one hundred percent to our benefit. Hundred and five. It's gotta be right below us, right? One oh one. Oh come on. I don't want to lose my bearing here. Come on, where's the opening? 121 meters. So it's somewhere in the center here, where he is. Ah, oh, no. And are we dead? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so this is getting to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. And he's clearly spotted us again. Seems to like to roar when he sees us, so... Kind of like uh, the Leviathans when they kind of scream. He moves so fast. Where is it? 
92.94. Like, where could this... There has to be an entrance or something, right? Uh. <laughs> so spooky with this guy just following us. Go down here. Let's not uh, hang around any time soon. Oh, come on. Are we all running him? Not really. Avoiding? Yes. <laughs> Winning? No. <laughs> That's such a bad sound. Oh. I think somebody is not happy with us. Where's the entrance? It sounds like something's swimming behind us. Yeah, he's behind us. Yeah, nobody cares. Calorie intake? That's because we filled our pants. Don't you dare warp me out of here. Okay, what are we at? 186. We're moving away from it. The thermal plant, that is. Oh, oh, what's this? Come on, grab it! Come on, where was it? Right here. Come on. Oh yeah, right into the lava. Great. <laughs> okay, if we just hang there, hang here, are we okay? Alright, I'm just gonna hold on. We're gonna get uh actually you know what? Let's just let's just fall. Oh, he's right there. Okay. I wanna say we're inside somewhere good. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm just going to get out really quickly. Do some prawns repairs. Let's just watch our life here really closely. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Detecting alien materials and a massive local well, energy mass in the 1000 megawatt range. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. What are we looking at here, peeps? Are we taking any damage? Doesn't look like it. We have to see what that is, right? Which has formed in this area can be carbon dated to between 800 Thought that was a warper for a second. I was like, Phew. Okay, it looks like we're like we're getting closer and closer to the center of the earth or whatever. Or more and more uh oh there. Oh, this should be easy, right? All 
Alright. Where is the door? Um, yeah, we gotta get up higher. I think it's probably on the other side here. No, that doesn't seem like it either. Oh, there it is. We're gonna have to be careful. What? Why is it grabbing? <laughs> Why can't I like grab the? For some reason, it's not allowing us to. There we go. Why can't I bring the prawn suit in? Okay, we'll try this one more time. Like maybe we're coming in at the wrong angle, but. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, we made it this far. <laughs> New area. Uh, and I think that's a perfect place to stop the episode. So that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.